wanting to be the best and be on top. And uh, to always be on top. In 1992, I didn't place at all in the Olympia. Didn't get a dime, didn't get a dollar. Okay, all right, right there. Who's gotta get this right? This is heavyweight! Jay Cutler, a four-time Mr. Olympia renowned for his own formidable presence in the bodybuilding world, delved into a detailed exploration of Ronnie Coleman's impact, weaving a tapestry of reverence and nostalgia. Reflecting on his own journey from aspiring athlete to seasoned competitor, Cutler couldn't help but marvel at the towering influence Coleman wielded over the sport. Cutler began to paint a vivid picture of Coleman's dominance, recalling the early days when Coleman's name reverberated throughout the bodybuilding community like a mantra of excellence. He reminisced about the awe-inspiring sight of Coleman's imposing physique, a spectacle that left an indelible mark on the minds of all who beheld it. For Cutler, like many others, Coleman represented the epitome of greatness in bodybuilding, a beacon of inspiration lighting the path to success. The memories flooded back as Cutler recounted a pivotal moment, watching Coleman guest pose with a mixture of admiration and excitement coursing through his veins. The sheer magnitude of Coleman's presence on stage was enough to stir the emotions of even the most seasoned observers, leaving Cutler and others like him in a state of reverent awe. But it wasn't just Coleman's physical prowess that captivated Cutler. It was his unparalleled work ethic and unwavering dedication to the craft of bodybuilding. Cutler spoke of Coleman's relentless pursuit of perfection, his grueling training regimens, and his unyielding commitment to pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible in the sport. It was this relentless drive that set Coleman apart from his peers and cemented his status as a true legend in the annals of bodybuilding history. As Cutler continued to reflect on Coleman's legacy, he couldn't help but feel a profound sense of gratitude for having been part of that era. He spoke of the privilege of witnessing Coleman's greatness firsthand, of sharing the stage with a man who had redefined the sport in his own image. Hey, this is a show. Uh, talk is cheap. You want to do something? Hey, we can do something right now. Okay, okay come on. Come on, now. Come on. Come on. I don't like ice cream. Bob like ice cream, Susie does. Really uh, firing off lately. We've gotten a lot of great things and- Wanting to be the best and be on top. And uh, to always be on top. Listen to what people say. <clears throat> I won six times because I worked my butt off in the gym and did what I had to do. Coleman's influence, Cutler realized, extended far beyond the confines of the bodybuilding world, touching the lives of countless individuals who looked to him as a source of inspiration and motivation. Cutler affirmed Coleman's enduring legacy as a true titan of bodybuilding, a figure whose impact would be felt for generations to come. He spoke not only of Coleman's unparalleled achievements on the stage, but also of his lasting influence on the hearts and minds of all who had the privilege of crossing paths with him. Dorian Yates Dorian Yates, the esteemed six-time Mr. Olympia, provides an insight into the legacy of Ronnie Coleman, weaving together admiration, respect, and recognition of Coleman's profound impact on the world of bodybuilding. With a discerning eye honed by years of experience, Yates begins by acknowledging Coleman's undeniable physical prowess, praising his impressive physique and unparalleled achievements on the competitive stage. Yet Yates swiftly transitions to a deeper appreciation of Coleman's character, shining a spotlight on the lesser-known facets of the bodybuilding legend. In a departure from the typical narrative focused solely on muscular development and stage victories, Yates places emphasis on Coleman's positive attitude and genuine interaction with fans. He highlights Coleman's ability to connect with audiences on a personal level, transcending the confines of the stage to leave a lasting impression on the hearts and minds of fans worldwide. Drawing a sharp contrast between their respective training methodologies, Yates acknowledges the divergent paths taken by himself and Coleman, 
While Yates pursued a high-intensity, no-nonsense approach to training, Coleman's regimen was characterized by relentless dedication and an unwavering commitment to excellence. Yet despite these differences, Yates readily admits Coleman's unparalleled ability to push boundaries and inspire others within the bodybuilding community. Yates extends his admiration beyond Coleman's competitive achievements, recognizing his enduring influence on the sport as a whole. Using insulin and steroids and other things all together, this is yeah. becoming a ticking time bomb. Good, good, nice and smooth. Go, yeah, got it. In 1992, I didn't place at all in the Olympia. Didn't get a dime, didn't get a dollar. Got it. Bingo. Yeah. Hey, this is a show. Uh, talk is cheap. You want to do something? Hey, we can do something right now. Yes! Do one more! Yes! Yes! He acknowledges Coleman's role as a trailblazer, paving the way for future generations of athletes to strive for greatness and redefine the limits of human potential. Phil Heath. Phil Heath, the illustrious seven-time Mr. Olympia, offers a heartfelt tribute to Ronnie Coleman, revealing a deep-seated admiration that transcends mere athletic prowess to encompass the essence of a true legend. Heath vividly recounts the profound impact Coleman had on his formative years as an aspiring athlete. He paints a vivid picture of being utterly captivated by Coleman's awe-inspiring physique, a spectacle that left an indelible imprint on his psyche and ignited a spark of inspiration that would fuel his own ambitions for years to come. In Heath's eyes, Coleman isn't just a bodybuilder, he's the epitome of greatness, a living embodiment of excellence in its purest form. With reverence bordering on reverence, Heath declares Coleman as the greatest bodybuilder of all time, a titan whose unmatched achievements and unparalleled legacy have firmly etched his name into the annals of history. Coleman's greatness extends far beyond the confines of the competitive stage. It is the enduring impact of Coleman's legacy on the sport of bodybuilding that truly sets him apart. With each victory, each triumph, Coleman not only solidified his own place in history, but also paved the way for future generations of athletes to follow in his hallowed footsteps. As Heath eloquently articulates, his admiration for Coleman serves as a testament to the enduring legacy and profound influence of a true icon. It is a legacy that transcends mere accolades and trophies, resonating deeply within the hearts and minds of aspiring athletes around the world. Kevin Lavrone. Kevin Lavrone, the retired bodybuilder and former Mr. Olympia competitor, regales enthusiasts with anecdotes that shed light on the dynamic personality of Ronnie Coleman. In Lavrone's narrative, he juxtaposes Coleman's renowned seriousness with his own more relaxed demeanor offering a glimpse into the camaraderie that flourished among competitors in the bodybuilding community. Lavrone's storytelling prowess transports listeners to a moment of levity amidst the intensity of competition, where he orchestrates a light-hearted scheme to coax Coleman into loosening up. With a mischievous twinkle in his eye, Lavrone recounts the comical episode where he playfully tempts Coleman to indulge in a few shots of vodka, much to the amusement of their peers. The contrast between Coleman's stoic resolve and Lavrone's playful antics adds a touch of humor to the tale, showcasing the unique bond shared between competitors who, despite their differences, find common ground in their shared passion for the sport. Through Lavrone's lens, listeners gain a deeper appreciation for the human side of Coleman as he momentarily lets down his guard and embraces the lighter side of life. But beyond the laughter, Lavrone's anecdotes serve a deeper purpose offering valuable insights into Coleman's multifaceted personality and the intricate dynamics that underpin the bodybuilding community. In recounting moments of camaraderie and mutual respect, Lavrone highlights the profound bonds forged among competitors, united by their shared experiences and unwavering dedication to their craft. Lavrone's entertaining anecdotes not only entertain, but also humanize Coleman, presenting him not as an untouchable icon, but as a relatable figure with quirks and idiosyncrasies just like anyone else. I learned this early on when I wanted to become a professional bodybuilder. No one really taught me. I just had to keep learning. In 1992, I didn't place at all in the Olympia. Didn't get a dime, didn't get a dollar. You know, that can't be done through just 
sitting there pumping 25, 30, or 40 pound dumbbells. Okay, all right, right there. Woo, you gotta get this right. This is heavy weight. Be a creator. Use your mind. Think outside. You know, I've won Arnold Classic in America twice. I have a huge fan base here in Australia and I wanted to come. It is through these shared moments of laughter and camaraderie that the true spirit of bodybuilding shines brightest, reminding enthusiasts that beyond the stage and the spotlight lies a vibrant community bound together by a love for the sport and a shared appreciation for the unique individuals who inhabit it. Lee Haney Lee Haney, the esteemed eight-time Mr. Olympia, offers profound reflections on the enduring impact of Ronnie Coleman's legacy within the realm of bodybuilding. With a wealth of experience and a deep appreciation for the sport, Haney navigates through the complexities of Coleman's influence, acknowledging his achievements while also highlighting the nuances of their divergent training methodologies. In Haney's introspective musings, he pays homage to Coleman's unparalleled achievements on the competitive stage, recognizing the sheer magnitude of his success and the indelible mark he left on the sport. Haney's admiration for Coleman's accomplishments is palpable as he lauds the former champion's dedication, perseverance, and unwavering commitment to excellence. Haney is quick to note the differences in their respective approaches to training, acknowledging that while they may have taken divergent paths to success, both Coleman and himself shared a common goal, to push the boundaries of what was thought possible in the world of bodybuilding. Despite their contrasting styles, Haney praises Coleman as a formidable competitor, recognizing his ability to inspire and motivate others through his actions both on and off the stage. Through Haney's reflections, listeners gain a deeper understanding of Coleman's lasting legacy and influence on future generations of bodybuilders. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.